What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. AMC, we got something pretty serious about this, especially if you start connecting the dots. The $1 trillion reverse repo, I will be explaining that and how that could indicate a massive market crash simply because of over leveraging of AMC. And there are a lot of firewalls being put in place to prevent something like this. Because when you have a hedge fund as big as Citadel, where they hold massive amounts of positions pretty much across the board for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. If there's some sell-offs, let's say like 2%, 3%, 5% sell-offs on specific stocks. That's gonna freak everyone out psychologically and everything is gonna tank. And it just so happens that we do have firewalls now being put in place to prevent a scenario like that from happening because the SEC, the feds, they don't want that kind of thing to happen. It's catastrophic and it's not fun. And before we dive into deeper, make sure you guys check out the private Discord server, link in the description below. It's free until September 1st. So you got like a whopping 30 day free trial here. So cancel anytime, spots are limited. Like we made like a Snapchat call that turned from like 200, 300 bucks to over $1,400. We have like, you know, PayPal 11%, nice and simple. If you wanna trade with us, definitely do so. We also have like amazing customer supports admins i'm on here the analysts are on here so many different trade alerts you get so much cash you get so much money for what you get and it's just amazing now let's get back to amc because their dark pool tradings are going up okay everything's looking really suspicious chances of amc being listed on the threshold securities a second time is pretty big as well and also the fdds are just going crazy and the amount of hedge funds are only amc is over the top this is really wild. And just keep in mind that 400 hedge funds are actually bullish on AMC and have bullish positions. 15% are essentially bearish and have only shorts or puts. And 27 are essentially half and half. Now we have to talk about the reverse repos. Now this is something that's very scary and data that's not really that fun. But essentially what this is, is a reverse repo has hit a record $1 trillion. This is a lot of money. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, let me just simply explain to you in simple terms. You're a hedge fund and you're gonna be borrowing money from the Fed, so you do that. You borrowed a ton of money and you short a stock called AMC. In the very beginning, you did really well because the more you short AMC, the more and more it goes down. And your goal is essentially to get AMC to go to zero and you essentially get maximum amount of gains. But here's the thing, suddenly, a bunch of retail traders start buying AMC and the price of the stock surges all the way to the moon. What do you do? You go back to the feds, you borrow even more money and you short it, you borrow even more money and short it, naked shorting, in the synthetic short positions, you know, buying puts, all this really crazy is a dark pool volume, things get over leveraged and get really, really nasty and then bam, suddenly you got rules being put in place to prevent an over leverage of positions. So now, instead of going all in hard shorting AMC, you can only go in like halfway. But then, eventually, AMC stock keeps going up, and this is impossible to cover at this point. And if you try to cover this, you're gonna have to liquidate a ton of other shares in your portfolio, thus creating a massive market crash. But remember, when you borrow this much money from the feds, for example, you're gonna have to pay it back. You have to pay it back, okay? When you borrow money from the bank, do you have to pay it back? You kind of have to pay it back. If you don't pay it back, they take your car, they take your house. That's generally what happens. So we got this hitting like a record $1 trillion. And a lot of people are saying that Citadel has been borrowing a ton of money. And it's not just Citadel, remember, there's 15 hedge funds that are totally short on AMC. Whereas 400 of them are bullish and buying stocks and buying calls for AMC. So right now there's a bunch of rules being placed, especially the NSCC 2021-010, and all of this really eventually makes sense. Now because of this massive liquidation that might happen because of an AMC short squeeze, there's a lot of rules being in place. These are firewalls. So what this is, is the SFT will get the shares from a hedge fund that's in a sticky situation. They will hold these shares and they'll actually take out a huge loan obviously of interest that's how this whole banking system works and it gives it to the distressed hedge fund the distressed hedge fund gets all this money pays back all the debts and after the dust settles this hedge fund is no longer distressed it paid off all their debts and they get their shares back so this is a win-win obviously retail traders make a bunch of money from the short squeeze but at the same time the hedge fund 
doesn't have to liquidate their shares because if they liquidate their shares, the whole entire market might collapse. And because of that, I guess everyone wins. In the future, the hedge fund has to start working more and more and to slowly pay off this debt that they now owe. And it's with interest. So that's what in, in the world is going on. Now also, check out Moomoo. This is our sponsor, link in the description below. Click on it. Make a Moomoo broker account so you get a free stock. Deposit up $100 and you get a free stock. Deposit five grand or more, get two more free stocks. It's stocks on stocks. It's free money, why not check them out? And plus, I call one of their representatives and they don't do the PFOF. So their orders are being rerouted the correct way, which is a pretty good thing. But nevertheless though, we're seeing a bunch of firewalls being put in place. And just the mere fact that suddenly this reverse repo volume is crazy. This number is insane because a couple months ago it was only 500 billion, everyone freaked out, now it's 1 trillion. This is a really high number that's really not sustainable and this does not look healthy at all. And also keep in mind that all these rules that are recently being passed and put in place, it's making shorts a lot harder. I personally think the retail traders are winning because a lot of the shorts right now Back then, you could go really hard and short a stock. Now, if you want to short a stock, especially AMC, this is the top of the meme stock pile. You're going to have to put down a lot of cash on the side of your account if you want to do something like this. Back then, you didn't have to put a bunch of cash. Now, you have to put a bunch of cash. You want to short 100 shares, you got to make sure you have enough cash just in case something really sticky happens. And we also have brokerages, for example, Jeffries. They're just straight up banning short selling on meme stocks and stuff like that. JP Morgan Chase is also requiring you to put down a lot of cash in your account if you want to short a specific stock or just overall short it in general. I think nowadays it's just so different from what it used to be. Because it used to be that if you short a stock and there's so many shorts being open, retail investors really freak out and they leave. Now it's the complete opposite. Retail traders are going in harder than ever before because there's so much shorting involved. It's like the complete opposite. Right now, AMC. I know it's a little bit discouraging to see the stock not really moving so much, but I really do feel like an upwards consolidation like this really isn't that bad. It's honestly pretty beneficial for you and for the rest of the investors out there. But you have a decrease in volume and upwards consolidation. That is the best technical analysis pattern you could ever get. Because most of the time consolidation is completely flat and you have a very volatile volume, which indicates that a lot of buyers and sellers are not content with the current price. But now I think most investors are actually really content on the current price of AMC. Super impressed about this stock. This is a, one of the beautiful consolidations I've ever seen, and you can't really go wrong with this. That's why, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below. Have a good weekend. I mean, we'll definitely get another full week of trading, so definitely keep that in mind. Wake up early. You know, definitely check on AMC. I think the stock is pretty fine. It's moving like an S&P 500 stock, which is pretty good. And who knows? We could even be some seeing some stock splits coming in. We're gonna be seeing much, much more. I'm really interested in AMC, and I think the overall health of the company is better than ever before. That's about it. Make sure to check out the private Discord server. You won't regret it, and plus it's free until September, so you got this crazy like 30-day free trial. It's a very long time, free trial. It's an amazing server, almost 2,000 members. Make sure to check out BlockFi. Link in the description below. Click on it, make a BlockFi account, deposit some money, and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. See you guys later, and thanks for watching.